Hi friends, today is Wednesday, May 12th, and with Reading with Principal Rand Patterson, we're going to read When You Need a Friend, previously published as Badger in the Great Storm, written by Suzanne Chu and Caroline Pedler. Crash, boom, flash, a terrible storm is coming. Big-hearted Badger is working hard to keep everyone safe, protecting burrows and rescuing nests. But who will look after Badger's home in the old oak tree? A story of friendship, courage, and new beginnings. Whenever you need a friend. Mighty oaks from acorns grow, sang Badger as he bustled round his cozy burrow. Tucked beneath the roots of the old oak tree, it had always been a happy home for Badgers. Suddenly there was a squeak at the window. Badger! cried Mouse. Have you heard? A terrible storm is coming. A storm, cried Rabbit, hopping up. My nest will blow away, Flatbird. And what about my lettuce garden, Hedgehog gasped. Badger, what should we do? Don't worry, smiled Badger. We'll make your homes as strong as castles. First, Badger made a sturdy door for Rabbit's burrow to keep out the wild winds, he said. Then he used some upturned flower pots to cover hedge Hedgehog's prize lettuces and built a box around the nest to keep birds safe and dry. There, sighed Badger, happily tying Mouse's ladder in place. Thank you, Badger, Mouse squeaked. Now, please hurry home, the storm is almost here. Badger trudged back towards his old oak tree, but very soon the rain was pouring down. Oh dear, Badger frowned as thunder crashed and the wind howled. Oh dear, oh dear. Suddenly a door flew open. Badger, yelled Rabbit, you must come in from the storm. It is a bit blustery, chuckled Badger, following Rabbit inside. The baby bunnies gathered round. Will we get blown away? They cried. We're quite safe here said Badger gently. Now, who would like a story? And as they snuggled close, the bunny soon forgot to be scared. All throughout the night, the storm roared and raged. Thunder boomed, lightning flashed, and the animals shivered in their homes, waiting for morning to arrive. But when the sun came up, the friends had a terrible shock. Where will poor Badger live now? gasped Hedgehog. There have always been badgers under that old oak tree. He can stay with me, thrilled Bird, though my nest is very high. Or with me, suggested Mouse, though it might be a squeeze. He can share with me, cried Hedgehog, but we'll need a lot more leaves to snuggle beneath. When Badger and Rabbit arrived, the friends rushed over. My poor, poor house, Badger sighed sadly. How can we help? squeaked Meowth. Yes, what can we do? asked Hedgehog. Badger took a deep breath. Don't worry, he said slowly. Every problem has a solution. First, let's rescue my books and gather my pans, called Badger. Then we'll turn this grand old oak into a brand new house. The friends set to work at once. There was a job for everyone, no matter how small. For days and days they chopped and sawed and hammered and painted until they had used every last piece of wood to build something very special. My wonderful new home, Dame Badger. You're the best friends I could ever wish for. Just then, Hedgehog rushed over. We forgot to use this, he cried, holding up a tiny acorn. I know just what we'll do with that, said Badger. Mighty oaks from acorns grow. He dug a little hole and they planted it very carefully. And from that day on and forevermore, there were always badgers living under the new oak tree. And that is the end of When You Need a Friend. Have a good evening, friends.